Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Seton Hall Prep is brought to you by One on One with Steve Adubato. The end of the regular season nears, and there's one more Gordon Conference game on the docket. Seton Hall Prep looks to score a major upset win against CBA. The Colts are 18-0-3 on the year, and one of those ties came against the Pirates all the way back in December. Seton Hall Prep's plan was to jump in front early, and they executed. Dylan Gibbs fights for a gritty goal right in front. His seventh of the season puts the Prep in the lead with eight minutes left in the first. 30 seconds later, CBA with a golden chance. It's Zach Wagner on the breakaway, but he's denied. Darren Keaveny with a stellar save keeps the Colts off the board. But here comes CBA. Two Seton Hall prep penalties gives the Colts a five on three power play. Look at the crisp passing. Zach Wagner gets a look and buries it. That ties it up and it will stay 1-1 through one full period. Second period, CBA feeds the hot hand. Wagner to the top shelf. What a shot from Zach Wagner. We have to take another look. Man, with 4.49 left in the second period, CBA hops in front with a 2-1 lead. Things get interesting minutes later. The prep with the puck in deep. It gets worked in front, and Seton Hall Prep thinks they have a goal, but it's waved off. A chance to tie the game doesn't come to fruition. So let's take another look. Daniel Kelly, number nine for the Pirates, looks to be the one who pokes it in. You make the call yourself. It'll stay a 2-1 game going into the third period, and Prep head coach Mike Atkinson Clearly not happy with the call. CBA opens the third on fire. Wagner feeds it back into the slot. Evan Brown is there to finish. And how about this? Zach Wagner with the puck seconds later. He looks, shoots, and scores. That's two goals in 33 seconds for CBA. And it's also the first career high school hat trick for Zach Wagner. The Colts have a 4-1 lead in the blink of an eye. Later in the third, Seton Hall Prep cuts into that lead with this goal from Nick Schneider. That's number 11 on the year for Schneider, and we've got a 4-2 game. There's nine minutes, 36 seconds left on the clock. And the remainder of the third period would turn into the John Donahoe Show. CBA's senior netminder has a .923 save percentage in 13 games this season. And his play down the stretch would seal the win for Christian Brothers Academy. 4-2 is the final. Donahoe stops 29 shots. Wagner has the hat trick. And CBA improves to 19-0-3 on the year. They've all but secured the top seed in the Gordon Cup Tournament and look battle-tested with the playoffs on the horizon. Yeah, I mean, last year we were looking to win a championship and uh, we got eliminated early. So, uh, we know it's not going to be easy and the regular season's a lot easier than the playoffs, so it's going to take a lot of buy-in, but I think we got the team to, to go all the way. Yeah, I felt good, but I think uh, the teammates found me nice. Uh, I had a lot of open shots. Most games I'm not going to get eight, nine quality chances like I did today, so all credit to my teammates for those goals. Reporting from Cody Arena in West Orange, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.